Hi there, my name is Jeff Crittenden. I'm the chair of the foundation and I am so glad to be able to say to you, Happy Thanksgiving. As we look across the country, we can see so much happening as we enter this time of fall. Whether it's in the west as the heavy machines are bringing the crop off the prairie, or maybe it's in the east as the colors are starting to become so vibrant and beautiful. Or maybe it's up in the far north as the days are getting a little bit less light. We give thanks for so much. All of us are experiencing the winds becoming a little bit cooler and with that we know what's coming. We know that it won't be long until we're all gathered around tables, family and friends gathered together to say thank you. The Thanksgiving table, it's such a powerful symbol and it's right at the very core of our tradition, breaking bread, gathering together to celebrate. Now, if you were at our house, everyone would gather around and the table would be filled with all kinds of food and everyone would be ready to eat, just getting ready to get into that turkey and all the other things that are at the table. And just if that's about to happen, you'll hear a voice call out, stop. And we all will stop instantly. And we all look to one another. And as soon as the stop has been called, we begin one by one sharing one thing that we're thankful for. We make our way around the whole table, everyone taking a turn. I'm thankful for my health. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful that there's somebody in our family who has had such a great experience this year. I'm thankful for, and it won't be long until someone will say, I'm hopeful that the Thai Cats win the Grey Cup this year. Thanksgiving tables. Everyone has a different story and a different tradition. Some tables have many generations of people at them, and others, it's a very small table. Some have high chairs and some tables are a little tense and there's some stories that still need to be shared. And other times, when we look at the table, we can see maybe there's an empty chair. The empty chair is something that makes me ponder and remember the, all the different people who have filled that chair over the years. Some people like my grandparents, when I can still see them saying the blessing. The empty chair affects all of us in a different way as we look and we remember and we hold on to that which is precious to us. I'm thinking about an empty chair this morning as I think about Roger Snelling. Now I knew Roger and Sheila way back in Montreal when I was a student minister. They were passionate about looking after others. So it came as no surprise to me when I heard that Roger had contributed to the Peace and Justice Endowment. That's the kind of person he was, making a difference no matter what. So when I think about him and that small gift that he left to make a difference in the world, it begins to see how that small seed begins to grow and grow and grow. Places like Camp Kimoki, where they have a heritage camp where people come together to learn of the indigenous ways. Or maybe it was Reclaiming Our Path, where they have a program where the traditional ways are taught as people sort through their lives and who they are. Or maybe it's Wellington Square, where people in the whole community gather together to go and plant a crop together, which they harvest and then they share together at a Friday night celebration meal. Or maybe it's in St. Paul's in Saskatoon, where they've gathered children together, where they're able to eat together and read together. Or maybe it's Stella's Mission, just doing so much in St. John's and beyond that community, making such an impact. You know, there's so much to be thankful for that this time in Thanksgiving. And when I think of the gifts that people make, I'm wondering if maybe you'd like to make a gift like that. A legacy that goes on generation to generation, making a difference in the world that God so loves. Well, I hope you enjoy Thanksgiving. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. I love this time of year. And I hope when you gather around your table with people you love and care for, that you also stop and share with one another something you're thankful for. Thank you so much and happy Thanksgiving.